Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. It has actually been a while. It's been about three weeks since I've filmed anything. And I'm really glad that I had made two videos and posted them two weeks ahead because I had a medical emergency that put me down for a week and a half solid and I, I didn't do anything. I didn't work, nothing. So it really feels good getting back to making some videos. So yes, excited. On top of that, finally I think spring has arrived. So just a couple days ago, we had the last big storm come through the, the mountains, drop some more snow. Utah got hit hard, but fortunately out here in Grand Junction, all we got was a skiff. So finally things are warming up. Today, oh, it's about 50 degrees right now. As you can see, no more snow in the backyard, finally. <laughs> And this weekend, it's supposed to get up into the 60s and next week into the 70s. So yay, rock hounding season, welcome back. <laughs> so I'm gonna go out rock hounding Saturday and I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know right now, I'm planning on, now that the weather is warmer and there's more daylight, I'm planning on going rock hounding after work most days. I'm, there's this wonderful place I've been wanting to go to just north of town. It's just been too muddy or too, covered in snow to go out uh, finally we'll be able to go out and so I'm gonna be going out there pretty consistently so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go out most of the days of the week go rock hunting after work for you know a couple hours and then I'm gonna put all that footage together and make a video out of that and then maybe also work rock hound on Saturday and hopefully we'll get back into the pattern of a rock hounding video every Friday I'm um, I'm excited to finally get back at that and maybe still have a cutting video on Mondays or maybe not every Monday but as often as I can get them and kind of get back to doing two videos a week. Uh, I, I just can't tell you how good it feels to have good weather and to finally be able to get out and rock hound again. So today we're just doing this quick cutting video. I've got it set up. I've got a bunch of stuff to cut right here so we'll just jump on in and see what we got. Start off with this agate that I don't know where this came from. <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, it's about what I thought. It's very clear. That's cool. See light coming through that. So yeah. Interesting looking stuff. Not too bad. I wonder if had I cut it like this, if maybe we'd have gotten some cool patterns or designs. I don't know. Here we have another little piece of agate. I believe this came from my subscriber last year who sent me a box. Okay, yeah. Some nice banding in that. Just wish it was colorful, but the bands in it are actually pretty cool. There we go. Another agate. Oh. Oh, cool. It's got some things going on in it. Oh, that's nice looking. Kind of like little tubes. Maybe even some plumes. That's a neat little agate. Here's another one of those little bird's eye gastropod shells. And like usual, something will break. But we got a little bit of a shell on that side. It's something, but we've had much better. Here's another agate that I got from my subscriber last year. And, oh, oh, it's got lines in it from like the watermark. That's a pretty cool one. I like how it looks different from the stuff I find around here. It's just nice having something different. So here's just like a chunk of like malachite, you know, copper ore stuff that I found. I think it was at Eureka years ago. It's just been sitting around. Thought I'd cut it open. Okay, it's it, uh, <laughs> it's green. <laughs> uh, I was hoping for a little bit more going on in there, but uh, it's still kind of cool. Here's another one of those flat dugway geodes, and nice. Actually, it's got like a purple hue to it. Look at that. It looks a little purple. That is cool. Yeah, it's pretty much just filled in. I guess you could call it more thunder egg <laughs> in this case. Still looks nice. Here's one of those agates that I found up at Drum Mountains. Okay, that's about what I thought it was going to look like. Had the kind of the nice agate going up here and then down here more of a, a jasper. Cool. This is some uh, travertine that I found on one of the hikes nearby. I thought I'd just try and cut it. 
and it shattered into tons of pieces. But that's basically what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> kind of a typical travertine. There's kind of that orangish, yellowish, brown to white calcite. This is a little piece of Wonderstone that was different. I think this maybe came from Nevada. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> I did not expect that red. From the outside, I thought it was going to look like that. And look at that. There's red right in the center of it. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I think it came from Nevada. Still, really cool. So this is kind of one of those Bertrandite type nodules that didn't seem to have any purple in it. But I thought, why not cut it anyway? It still looks like it's got some good color. There's red in it. So, oh, Ooh, I like some of those zigzags in there. Those are pretty cool looking. Yeah, maybe a hint of purple. Not a lot of, pur not really hardly any purple in it, but still some really cool colors with the red and yellow and really cool patterns. I like that. So this was a big piece of petrified wood. It was very thin. So I was hoping maybe it would stay intact. Unfortunately, that little piece broke off. So we'll just kind of remove that piece. And then we'll just take a look at this. Okay, yeah, I can see wood grain in there. It's, it's not very colorful, <laughs> but still it looks pretty nice. Not too bad. And last but not least, the good old classic Wonderstone. So based on that pattern, normally I would cut it this way, but I decided to go against what I usually do and cut it in this direction instead, just to see what it would look like. Here we go. And once again, it does not disappoint. A little bit of black there from the saw. So yeah. It looks so nice. I love the Wonderstone from Brennan. It's just beautiful stuff. That kind of looks like scissors on that side. Really cool. And there it is. Some more beautiful stuff. Just cut them open. There were a few surprises in there. I wasn't quite expecting some of the stuff that was in them. And as always, it just it's just feels good to get out and get out, just cut some stuff open, see what's in it, and just get excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned. We got some rock hounding coming up. I'm so excited to get back. We'll have rock hounding videos, hopefully every Friday for the rest of the, well, rock hounding season. And yeah, we'll see what we find. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.